Hello all and welcome to Hansel and Gretel. This is another fantastic Phoenix game. Of course, for these one purposes. Uh, the mini games then watch the videos. So, without further ado, Crocodile, you're up. This is going oh. Okay, let's go there. I don't think it went there. Yeah, there you go, you cannot lose this game. Fuck it, that's done. <laughs> Fuck it. I probably did it back, but that's probably what. Anyway. Screw it. I'm gonna go straight to the movie for this. Oh, actually, you no. Know. All just normal colouring stuff you can always see. Looks like an easy one. Uh 
these games. Screw it, I'm going, I'm going straight to the movie. Enjoy guys. Or not. What is this? What is this? This is the movie. Enjoy, everybody. Ho, ho, ho! Welcome to the forest. Now it's time for some amazing stories. Listen to one of my tales full of wonders and amaze. Hard by a huge forest stood a little house. A woodcutter dwelt there, as poor as a church mouse. He shared the place with his vicious wife and two nice children, Hansel and Gretel. The family was poverty-stricken. They were even short of their daily bread. The woodcutter was very troubled, but he didn't know what to do. Dear husband, I have a great idea. Let's take the children to the woods and leave them there to their fate. They won't be able to find their way back home and they'll have to take care of themselves. Otherwise, we will all starve to death. The woodcutter did not want to agree to this. However, the cruel stepmother kept on nagging her husband until she finally managed to convince him. We're lost. Hungry wolves are going to eat us in the woods. Hush, Grittle, stop crying. We'll think up something to save ourselves. When the parents were asleep, Hansel quietly slipped out of the house. In the bright moonlight, he started picking white glittering beans. He filled his pockets with as many of them as he could. Sleep in peace and don't worry, my sister. We'll outwit our bad stepmother. Next morning, when the warm sun rose in the bright sky, sending away the dark night and the rooster crowed for the first time, the stepmother woke up the children. Get up, you sluggards! We are going to the forest to fetch some wood! Before they set off, the stepmother gave each child a piece of bread. Don't eat it up now, you greedy children, because you won't get anything else today. Gretel hid her brother's slice under her apron. After a while, four of them set off into the forest. They walked for a long time. Pratt and Hansel walked at the end of the group, dropping the beans here and there. When they reached the depth of the forest, the parents lighted a fire and the stepmother said, Lie down here and have some rest. Children and I will go into the forest to cut some wood. When we are finished, we'll come back for you. Hans and Gretel obediently sat down by the fire. They could hear the strokes of the wood axe coming from nearby, so they believed this was the father still working. How wrong the poor children were. It was the sound of a branch hitting against the tree trunk. Exhausted and distressed, the children ate their pieces of bread 
and fall fast asleep. When they woke up, it was already dark night. Gretel was frightened and began to cry. Please don't cry, my little sister. When the moon rises, it will light up the beans which I have scattered around on our way to the forest. They'll show us the way home. However, when a silver crescent shone in the sky, the children couldn't find the beans because the birds living in the forest had pecked them up. Then the children started roaming around the dark and hostile forest. And suddenly, unbelievable, an old woman flew out of the cottage on a broom. Welcome to my place, children. Please come in. The mysterious old woman led the children into her house. Inside, she prepared a sweet feast for them. The hungry little children ate and ate, and yet they still didn't have enough to eat. When they finally filled up their tummies, the old woman made the beds for them, and the happy children fell fast asleep. But the wicked witch was only pretending to be a good grandmother. She used her tricks to entice poor children to her gingerbread house, only to eat them. Early in the morning, the witch grabbed Hansel with her bony hands and locked him in a cage. She thought the boy will make a good meal, but decided to fatten him up a little before she eats him. Gretel kept weeping bitterly every day. She had to obey the witch and do everything she was told. Show me your finger, my dear child. Are you plump enough? Clever Hansel would stretch out a stick for her to feel. But since the witch was not very smart, she did not suspect any ploy and was very astonished. Finally, the witch decided not to wait any longer. She heated the oven. When flames of fire darted from the oven, the witch said to the girl, Gretel, why don't you check and see if the oven is hot enough? But how am I going to get there? You silly girl, I'll show you how to do it. It's as simple as that. Ah, it's so hot in here. When the oven door shut, there was a whirling in the oven. The wicked witch jumped out of the chimney and flew high to the sky. Happily, Gretel set her brother free. The children discovered many precious jewels in the witch's house. The following morning, the children easily found their way home. There was endless joy upon their return. The father banished his vicious wife away from the home. And after that, Hansel, Gretel, and the woodcutter lived happily ever after, and their house was never again stricken by poverty. Okay everyone, so that was the lovely Hansel and Gretel. It's probably the shortest of the Phoenix videos, but yeah, it's still terrible. Anyway, I'm gonna end this one here and I'll catch you all in the next game.